So welcome back guys. Yesterday I was up mowing around the uh, orchard area and I ended up hitting a partially buried old burlap sack. And gosh darn it, that thing wrapped up and uh, uh, got wrapped up in this blade and completely janked this pulley uh, for the belt. In fact, it was bent up like that to a 45 degree angle. <laughs> on this, this uh, piece right here. The, the pulley is fine, but just this piece. So anyway, I didn't have my camera with me yesterday, so I wasn't able to film it. But uh, I took this down to my local dealer where I got the lawnmower, and um, they were able to bend this back into shape no problem at all. So anyways, I've got to put this all back together. It's pretty simple to do and finish my mowing.
Okay guys, so you see I've got uh, the trench buried and graded over the driveway for the irrigation line going up to the garden area. So I've got to start to fill in here as it comes up the hill and uh, follows this trench I dug yesterday on up into the garden. And then I'll terminate there with a post and spigot. We will have water in the future raised bed garden area. Super excited. <laughs> So guys, you see our friend Ben is here today uh, taking down a couple of the trees over there by the RV site. Uh, two primary reasons. He's taken out two pretty major trees that are showing signs of weakness a little further up the tree where maybe some limbs broke off years ago. And then as it grew back together, um, you know, that forms a weak point. So we have some concern that if in high winds, you know, those weaker trees may tumble or, or tops of those trees, branches might fall on the RV or the structure that I'm building over the RV. So we don't want to take that chance. So that's the first reason we're taking out two big trees. Second reason is to allow a little more sunshine to filter through that area. It's pretty forested and, um, and shaded. And that is kind of southeast direction there. So we'd like to filter a little bit more sunshine through there. So that's what's happening uh, with the tree trimming.
Hey guys, so I'm done moving the wood from where we dropped those trees yesterday over to near the shop here. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to put a wood shop or a, a wood shed build on the project list. <laughs> uh, I've got tons of firewood here and I'll process this this summer, build a wood shed to store that wood. It will be in good shape. Um, so I got everything moved over except for two more pieces and they're these eight foot long pieces. I've got three in total. I asked Ben to uh, cut me some, you know, big, thick, three, uh, eight footers with a 24 inch diameter. And that's what this is. And the reason is I want to give a try at uh, some, some chainsaw carving on, uh, on logs like this. I thought that's super cool. And I've never tried it before. And I thought it'd be fun to give that a try. So one day, that's, that's the plan for at least one of these, is to uh, try to do some carving. Maybe carve some Easter Island style statues, or an alien, or maybe a Sasquatch. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, anyway, that's the plan for these eight footers. And then I may take one and carve out a park bench or something, put, you know, maybe on this side of the shop. Anyway, it feels good to be done. It took me all day to move that wood from there to here. And thankfully, that Branson 2400 made the job real easy. So real happy with that tractor so far. It's come in handy for uh, just tons of projects, as, as you guys have seen. So can only say good things about that Branson. Anyway, um, I moved all of the branches into a burn pile and I'll get that started probably tomorrow. We only have about four or five more weeks of burn season and uh, I have a huge pile there of the limbs and branches and all that debris. So get that burnt tomorrow, continue with uh, developing the RV site. Again, the RV site was just covered with all of this wood that had fallen from, uh, from the tree work yesterday. So we'll keep going. Okay guys, so I'm at the RV site and I've got it leveled out the best I can with, uh, with the Homestead tractor. Um, what I'm gonna do now is 
Go ahead and lay this weed barrier down. It's a commercial grade weed barrier that's resistant to uh, tearing from rock. So I'm gonna lay rock over this. So gonna lay this down now. I'm gonna lay it down in a 24 by 24 uh, pattern. <clears throat> the Airstream is 23 foot long from the tongue uh, to the back of the Airstream and it's eight foot wide. So I'm gonna allocate basically 12 feet for parking the Airstream. And then up against the Airstream, I'm gonna build a floating deck, which will be 12 feet by 16 feet. So I've got basically 24 feet this way and 24 feet that way that I'll lay this weed barrier down and cover with the washed uh, three quarter inch crushed stone that I had delivered uh, last week, which you've seen in some of the videos here. It's the clean stuff. So I'll lay that over and then level it real good uh, once the stone's down. So the weed barrier is down. As I mentioned, I've got a few undulations. Ooh, I do like that word, undulation. Very groovy. <laughs> anyway, but they're no big deal. So I'll begin to lay the rock and then I'll level everything out perfect uh, once the rock's down. So anyway, that's all I've got for you this week, guys. As I mentioned, the next step here is I'm gonna be building a floating deck, which is gonna be 12 by 12 this way by 16 that way, and also a dual overhang. So I'm gonna have a shed style roof that goes like this over the deck from uh, basically where the deck starts and over the deck, and then a secondary shed style roof that goes like this, that slants off that direction over the airstream. So it'll look like this, I'll have four by fours down the middle on this side of the airstream and then four by fours obviously to support this side of the shed roof and the same thing on that end so that's the next pro project uh hopefully we'll see that in next week's video again thanks for joining me this week if you haven't subscribed yet please do smash that like button if you enjoyed the video look forward to seeing you guys next time